everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here. How y'all doing today? Today is March the 14th, 2014 on a Friday morning at 7.47 in the a.m. Headed off to the Bone Cracker, doing some other stuff today. Getting a few more things done to Gandalf. And uh, getting Alf ready to be put on the market. Gotta do, to, gotta do a few more things to him to get him ready. Thought I'd try the Replay XD this morning. Um, haven't done a vlog with the Replay on Gandalf. I can show you what I've done to uh, Gandalf so far. I went ahead and uh, put the black trim around the white fenders and stuff like that. And I put, uh, well, you'll see them in a minute, put the LED blinkers on the side. I, I opted not to go with the arrows on Gandalf this time instead of the arrows I have on Alf. I wanted a little bit more mirror space even though that was very minimal space on those uh, arrows but I was uh, riding into work yesterday morning and of course it's dark when uh, I head on into work and the first time I rode with these on and I gotta get used to them that's for certain because they're bright they're almost as bright as the sun bright <laughs> I guess I should have got red um, bulbs well you know diodes or blue diodes but all they had was I had a choice of white and pink well I, if I had my choice between those two I took the white so it's like uh, okay I'll go with the white <laughs> oh, I got a school bus school bus across it Last uh, Tuesday, I got a uh, cortisone shot. I'll give you a knee update. I got a cortisone shot Tuesday, and it helped my knee out quite a bit. Not as not as not as good as the first one that I got, but the second one is it's good, but not near as uh, not near as good. But I'm a lot, I'm out of a lot of pain, which that is the main curtailment. So what we've opted to do is to go ahead with the Euflexa injections. We're going to start that in two weeks, once a week for three weeks, and that should last anywhere from eight months to a year. And we're going to uh, go opt to that and then postpone my orthoscopic surgery, arthroscopic surgery, until October, November, later on this year, so I can schedule my vacation time. Because the doctor said after I get that procedure done, I'll be off work for about a month. So to uninterrupt the uh, monthly income, I'm going to opt to uh, burn vacation for that. Excuse me if I can take it in uh, November, December. Then uh, we have those holidays through in there, so it won't be near as bad to do that. But if they don't work, then I will I will go ahead and I'll have to go ahead and get the surgery. And then be out on what we call ANS accident and sickness. They pay us, uh, like if you're out for, a, for surgery or a, a lengthy illness, they pay us like uh, $238 a week. And then I have what they call pick insurance, which is sort of like Aflac, you know, a little duck. And that pays $500 a month. So that would, that would make it tight for us, but we can, we can do it because that's how I had to do with my hip surgery. 
back four years ago. I hardly believe it's been four years, almost four years, since I've had that done. So that's the route we're taking. So we're gonna hopefully these injections will do will do good because I'm planning on that uh, road trip to Michigan in June. I'm Gandalf, my buddy Mar. My longest running friend. No mark for over 30 years now. stood up with me for that long. See how bright they are? And this is in the bright sunlight too. I hope that can catch that. I'll be turning right up here in a minute. See how see how bright they are? And in the pitch in the pitch darkness. It's almost as bright as the sun. <laughs> I've got some more stickers from uh, fellow vloggers in and I'm gonna be posting that video very soon. And since the temperature is starting to warm up some, I can go ahead and place those on the travel luggage. And uh, let y'all see those. So that'll be an upcoming video in the near future. And I also, I may do a video when I leave the Bone Crackers office. I had a subscriber ask me what's the difference between the executive and the uh, stock of ALF, what your likes and dislikes. And since I've been riding it for a while now, I can tell you uh, some likes and dislikes I like on both of them. More likes on the on Gandalf than ALF, of course, well, of course, it's newer. But uh, other things I miss that, Gan that ALF had black scoop than uh, Gandalf has here on the white. It's not, uh, I wish I never got the bike, it's just one of those things that you just have to adjust to. I'm sure that people that have bought new motorcycles or a new motorcycle to them had likes and dislikes from one bike to another. And I appreciate all the comments that everyone has uh, made about uh, selling a valve and um, yeah I will I will miss that bike just because that was my first you always rem remember your first car and your first motorcycle of course most people start their first car and motorcycle when they're 18 years old I started when I was 18 on my first car which was a 1963 Chevy 2 Nova but my first bike I started when I was 46, so <laughs> sort of late on in life, but hey, as long as you ride, it doesn't matter what age you are. Long as you ride. All right, we're gonna turn right here. And you can see the, see the LEDs there. And you also remember your first time of, well, er, you know, you know, what a, yeah, you know, yeah. You always remember that too. There was a first time for everything in life. Everything. Well, I'm about at the bone cracker now, so I guess I'll cut this, uh, cut this video off here and we will catch you guys next time this is a Smyrna cowboy here in Smyrna Tennessee on the way to the bone cracker to get adjusted popped and locked and all that stuff <laughs> wishing you and yours a good day uh, until next time adios